Come on, you motherfucker. God damn it, I wanna. Yeah, I'm gonna... I'm gonna fucking roll star your fucking mother! You just. I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, watch out, he's on, uh. He's on burrito. He's on burrito. He is on burrito and he has a big gun with a big scope thing image and he's gonna shoot me in the fucking wiener. Better get it. Hold up, hold up. Wait, hold up. Oh my god. Oh, hold on. Okay. Sorry, 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 guys. I'm like trying to, uh, trying to get comfortable with this fucking chair, you know. God damn it. Hold on. Okay, I think I'm good. I'm good, guys. Alright. God damn it. Okay, no, no, no I'm not sure. Ah. What's going on, guys? This chair. Alright. Alright, boys. Got this. MVP. MVP right now. Oh, shit. Alright. This doesn't work. My back still hurts. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my balls. Ah, my balls. <laughs> After hours of shitty gameplay and having severe back pain, I decided to get myself a new chair. I went ahead and did a simple Google search to find chairs. I was upset at my first couple tries, finding chairs that, well, definitely weren't me. So I went ahead and kept browsing the web hours and hours, and I finally ran into four companies that caught my attention. The first company that I found was DX Racer, which is popular amongst Twitch streamers. Then I found Maxnomic, which is made by Need for Seat, which is also another popular chair. Then I found AK Racing and a Rosie. Though these chairs are not known by people, they are all quite similar body style, which is the racing style bucket seat. I went ahead and reached out to all four companies and asked them which chair would be suitable for my frame, which is 6 feet, 180 pounds. And I also asked them if they had any showrooms in Southern California where I can see the chairs and also sit on them, just to make sure I had a perfect buy. Maxnomic reached out to me first, but the email was not what I expected. They simply said, we have one showroom in Columbus, Ohio. You're more than welcome to come outer. Also, for your size, I think the best chair for you will be our Office Comfort Series. Thank you. Now, what in the fuck is that supposed to mean? After being upset from the customer service, I decided to sleep it off and hopefully wake up to an email by one company that was going to go ahead and help me out in picking the perfect chair for me. The next day, I was emailed by DX Racer, who actually sent me a whole spec sheet and all the sizes and everything, pretty much what I wanted. Unfortunately, they didn't answer my question about a showroom, but they did help a lot more than Maxnomic, who didn't even tell me any of this. Not only that, but they also told me if I had any further questions, to please don't hesitate to ask. Holy shit. I was sold by the awesome customer service, so I went ahead and purchased the Racing Series DX Racer, which according to the spec sheet, is suitable for my size. My DX Racer was shipped within two days. And man, was the box heavy. But that didn't matter to me. I was still definitely excited to open this bad boy up and rest my beautiful ass cheeks on it. So as you guys just saw, I just got my DX Racer. I'm extremely excited and I'm not going to bore you guys with an unboxing video because there's way too many boring ass unboxing videos out there that are completely pointless. Now hopefully this chair is what I seek, what I want, and hopefully this is like the king of all chairs, the chair that's going to bring uh, pleasure to my ass cheeks. This piece of shit over here. Just not doing it. My ass feels like it's in hell. My ass is sweaty, my balls are sweaty. I have nightmares sitting on this chair, like hurting my back and stuff, so 
we're not gonna put up with that shit no more. That's why I had to go with the big boys. And I got this DX Racer. I saved up all my quarters for this. So it better be fucking worth it, I swear. DX Racer, you guys had the best support. So let's go ahead and see if uh, you guys can speak for the chairs. <gasps> oh shit, no, no, no. I hope I didn't fucking, hope I didn't cut through any fabric or anything, so. I'll go ahead and do it right now. Yeah, stream. Look at my asshole and my balls and my goo. Oh, shit. Oh, hey guys. I didn't even see you guys there. <laughs> Me showing my gooch on Twitch? I wasn't doing that. Anywho, as you see here, this is the finished product. My, 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 may I say, it is quite comfortable. I've got the lumbar support. I've got the headrest pillow right here. And uh, I could say that it's pretty damn fucking comfortable. Of course, you guys know what it does. You know, you could do this and... Oh, get some, get some. These twist and turn, a little bit hard to turn, but I'm assuming, you know, that's what that's for, something. What, what else is it for? It's not like you, come on. Self-explanatory. I love the chair. I did get the cloth one. I didn't get that uh, fake pleather. The reason for that was because that material, it's bad on your ass and your balls. It gets really warm. It feels like your ass and your balls are cooking in an oven. And then your mom comes in your room and says, Who's, who's cooking eggs? It's my chair, man. Leave me alone. I'm so glad I freaking bought it now. There are people talking shit about the rocking feature, but I'm rocking just fine. Something that this chair over here does not have. This is a mesh chair. This is the Laurel uh, low back executive something something. It's an okay chair, but for what I'm doing, streaming, making videos all the time, it's not worth it. This is good if you're in an office environment, you're doing maybe some accounting work. This would be a great chair for that, but for streaming eight hours and up or six hours and up, will not recommend it. I can already tell if this is gonna be a good chair because I've only been sitting it for like, like an hour already and my ass is happy. My ass, like, obviously, you know, the crack goes down there. If the crack was the other way, it would be like a smiley face. Then over here we have my old chair, which is that fake leather material. And I was saying, uh, this chair isn't bad. It's comfortable, but the back doesn't go up or anything. This chair, the back actually goes up and down. It has a lot of different options. That's one of the reasons I like it. But like I said, it was going too hard on the lower back. If you see down here, it's actually just, there's a big space in there. And I believe that's where my ass was separated from my lower back. That's actually what was doing that. So this is the R series. This is the one that, you know, the lady told me obviously to buy. If you see here, this chair fits me perfectly. The shoulders, you know, I do have white shoulders, but it's, it's fine right here on the shoulders. Not too much of an issue. Um, one thing I don't like though is the base on the bottom. You guys can't see the base, but the base is actually a plastic base. Uh, issue I had with that was I actually had a plastic base chair, my old chair before I had this chair. What happened was the plastic on the bottom where the wheels go, you know, the hole where you insert the wheel, that actually broke. So hopefully these are a bit more sturdier because I am traumatized of that happening again. DX Racer, I'm pretty sure they'll be on it if it does break. This chair cost me $344. The freaking shipping was amazing on it. Wasn't really gonna do like a whole review on this and well, you know, this, 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 this could be better than we This is more of like an overview and just talking a little about the chair. Yeah though, that's about it guys. So if you guys enjoy the video, if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask me. Like I said, if this is your first time watching me, make sure you guys subscribe. Also follow me on my Twitch channel. That's about it guys. So everybody have a good one. Love you. Wolf's my bitch.